Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Transports. So in continuing with what we had started talking about at the end of last video, which was talking about the cities and the passengers and trying to up, update our status, which you can see is now good uh, from neutral. In fact, let's go ahead and see what that's done to our price. So it's down from 10 million to 7.5 million. So the better reputation we get with a city, the cheaper that flight license uh, cost and that's what we want that's the ultimate goal here so that whenever we're ready to set up our uh, airlines and our airports nearby these cities that we'll have to spend the least amount of money that is feasible in order to do so because obviously we're going to have to spend money to build the airport then we're going to have to spend money on the flight license and then of course on all of the different airplanes that we're going to be uh, running in and out of that airport so let's go ahead and get things started. So one of the things I want to do is let's go find the big cities. We talked about how 1200 was about mid-size. And here you see I've got the population of the cities in order. So let's just start at the very top and let's jump over to the location. All right, you can see this. And wow, we've got two huge cities, comparatively speaking, right next to each other and if you look, they're not far from where we've been this entire time. So a couple of things jump out at me as soon as I get to this area. First of all is we've got two huge cities right next to each other. And the other is we have a disposal site where waste, which we've already worked with over, as we scroll back over, there we go. We've already worked with that uh, before and we found out it didn't give us all that much revenue, but again, everything that we can do for a city helps our reputation with the city. So we're interested in doing just that. Let's take a look. Do these cities, okay, they have no power. Okay, one does and one does not. All right, so this one must have been just out of reach of the power that we've been working on over here. Let's quickly see where they're getting their power from. And this is a coal power plant. And where's the coal coming from? All right, way over there. All right, so we're not going to get into that just yet. But what I do want to have happen is let's go ahead and start up some bus stops in the area. And also I want to uh, connect these two. And we'll start dealing with the waste as well. So we got a lot of potential here. Let's go ahead and set up some uh, bus stops. So there's one two well wherever it's going to let me place one anyway there we go three four five six and let's see seven there maybe eight there we go and we're working our way back around Maybe not. There we go. And finally, we'll be back around to our start again. Just going around the perimeter. And let's see, we need to set up a depot somewhere. And in order to do that, probably the best idea is let's go ahead and get these cities connected. Uh, let's see, where is the easiest way? Oh, I see a spot. Looks like we could go straight across right there. Perfect. That lined up perfect. It also means that we can set a loading station and right in here somewhere. I'm going to be careful not to get it on a on the side of one of these because sometimes you can run into pathing issues with the AI if uh, if you're not careful. So let's go ahead and let's put one right about there. Let's see. Right about there and we're also going to do one ooh, I don't like the way that looks uh, let's go ahead and do one right about here should be a good spot there we go all right so we'll come back to that first we need to set up a depot somewhere and we'll go ahead and just set up our depot let's see let's go ahead and we need that to be the other way. 
facing the other direction. There we go. We'll put our depot there. And then inside our depot, we need a bus. We'll go ahead and buy the bus. And just as we did before, we'll set up our route. There we go. Move this out of the way. And then add stop. So we're going to start up here at the top and try to figure out, try to recreate the route I used in order to get these others. I'm trying to look for it. I don't see it. Where is this thing? Oh, is it right there? Nope. Uh, it would be nicer if I had a better idea of where it was. Where the bus stop was. There it is. All right. Then we got another one down here in the general area. There's one there. One here. So we get them a little bit out of order. Shouldn't make all that much difference, though. There we go. A few seconds on the clock is about all that should matter. And then up here. And that definitely was not the last one. There we go. Right. Here. And did I get another one? There we go. And then right here. Okay, you can see sort of right around the perimeter. We'll right click to deselect that. And then we'll come back in to it. I'm going to go ahead and close that out just to make sure. Shouldn't need to, though. And we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to put in three, ultimately, of these trucks. So now let's, but we don't want to start them all at the same time. So we're going to send our first one out here. And, of course, he's going to get no passengers the first time he goes through. But the good news is, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. But the good news is, as soon as he leaves each one of these uh, bus stops, that's when the passengers will start flowing in, and that's when we'll start sending our second and then finally our third truck. All right, let's go ahead with the second one. And then information tab. All right, so far so good. And there we go. Now we have our three that will be on their way and our status right now is neutral look at that growing very fast and we'll want to continue with that as time goes on okay now let's come over and we want to do the same thing in this particular city so let's go back get our bus stops and let's go ahead and start we'll start right there two, three, and four. That'll work just fine. Five, let's see, six, oops, seven, and then, come on, let me place one. Are all of these too close together? Wow. Okay, there we go. All right, now that we've got those out of the way, we come back in, grab our bus, purchase one. Boy, hear all those money sounds. The cha-ching is really sounding quite nice. Okay, and just so you're aware, the sound, the further we get away from the city, the more faint the sound gets, the closer in we get the louder the sound gets. So we haven't heard a whole lot of sound out of the game because uh, for one thing I turned the music off and then also I spend most of my time not uh, in close. All right, so there's our first, there's our second, third one should be right over in here somewhere. There it is. Fourth one, fifth, sixth, where is it? Seventh. There it is. And there it is. Ninth. Okay. Was that all? I thought I had put down one or two more. Okay. So we're good to go there. And now, once again, I'll close that just to make sure it saves that. And then we'll copy this 
Uh, let's see. Three should be okay here. Again, we can find out over time if that's too many. If it is, we'll simply remove one. So now we've got our first driver up and going. And we'll wait to release our second truck. Okay, once again, he's not going to get any passengers. All right, let's go ahead and release the second. And we'll be ready for our third. So I noticed we got something. Oh, we got a tram available. Okay. There we go. And we'll release the third. Now let's come back over to our other city. And let's just pick one of the buses. You can see how well they're doing. Just trying to keep an eye out and see how many passengers they're getting. How much profit we're able to rack up. So, so far, so good. These guys are definitely working hard. And let's move over, see how some of the others are doing. Okay, I like it. So far, so good. These guys are off to a good start. Trying to see the spacing over here as well. Oh, we've got... We've got two that have caught each other. Doesn't seem to have mattered so far because I'm watching the numbers and there are plenty of customers. Let's make sure the initial one is getting, yeah, looks good so far. That's definitely not the spacing I want. In fact, let's try to stop this driver just for a moment let the other one get away just a little okay now let's get them started again maybe that'll be a little bit better again profitability looking very nice here you can see if you click on any one of the bus stops you can see how many passengers are waiting and you can see there is no shortage of uh, passengers that are waiting if we click back on the city let's see we are at 43 percent fulfillment 48 so we're going to be around 50 percent at the end of the month yeah 51 53 and then it resets okay now we'll want to see what we can do for the waste plant uh, in fact this is going to be weird because where are we going to take this one to Okay, I'll tell you what, since I'm not sure, actually, this one is close enough to probably get the city and uh, the waste treatment plant, so I'm not sure how that one's going to work out. So let's begin by simply setting up a truck. Let's go ahead and buy this. And let's go ahead and adjust the upgrades, because I do want to be able to tow two and in fact, I'm going to exit out of that because I need to get rid of that upgrade screen. Okay, let's go ahead. Information there. Set up our schedule. Add a stop. And this is going to be a quick delivery because we're going to go from here to there. And we're going to see if this works. Is it close enough to the city? Does it contain enough of the city within uh, that sort of area of effect in order to make this work? So we're about to find out. If it doesn't, oops, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back. I forgot to put, I forgot to put a, a trailer on him. So let's go ahead and put a trailer, and we want a waste trailer. I got too excited to find out. There we go. So we're going to buy one and two. Now, let's go back to our information, make sure we still got our schedule. We do. So we have 40 tons of waste that we can possibly move at one time. All right, so he's going to head over, and let's see if we have any waste that starts to pile in. Again, it's I wouldn't expect to see it until after we make our first stop here. And there we go, and you can see immediately it starts to fill in. And we'll see how much of it fills in and how quickly All right, so yeah, 59, so we're well over the 40 that we need in order to be completely full. And we'll just sort of watch this a little bit.
There we go. So we got our 40 and it's still just off and away. So we're going to be able to do two trucks easily here. The question is, how much is it reasonably going to make for us? Now, right now, the profit is a little bit skewed because we had that first month there. We crossed over the end of the month and didn't have enough money to uh, to actually get any income and then show a profit. So we're going to have to see how this goes. Again, this may be another one that does not end up being extremely profitable. But right now, I do want to add another truck to this route because I just can't resist it. All right, we want to adjust the upgrades, purchase that. All right, now we'll come back and do the trailers. So we'll do waste trailers, two of those. And then we'll do information, go to our schedule, add our stops, one here and one over there. We'll listen to that money just counting away. All right, I need to space these out a little bit better. And the way I'm going to do that is to actually slow this guy down. Once he gets done at this station, he'll actually stop. And wait a second, I want to get these guys basically opposite like about that. So that works. That's good enough for me. All right, so we'll let these guys go and again, who knows how that's going to work. Let's see what we've got here for for waste. So quite a bit of waste. And Okay, so things are going good. And of course, you can hear the cha-ching of the money as we have a lot of buses that are running around earning us money. Again, you can see we're up to $67,000 worth of profit so far on this one. So not bad. Another thing this is going to do is, of course, this is going to get our status with them increased. Now it's very good in one, excellent in another. Let's take a look. Four million now for a flight license. Okay, now we're getting things opened up. This is what we want. Five million here. This is what I like to see. Because as we get ready, spin this back around because this will enable us to come back down. Now, this would be a very short distance in order to do an airport. So we, we could go from here to probably anywhere in here. I might have to do a little terraforming, but I wouldn't mind putting an airport like right in here that could serve both of these cities. Might get by with one somewhere in here as well. We'll have to look at that as time allows, but right now, $4 million and it is climbing quickly. So we're doing our job. Uh, for now, I'm not going to worry about the waste from this city because I'm actually not sure how that's working out. Uh, because, I mean, it's piling up in here, but the problem is... That's from this city, but how do I get... Okay, now I'm just dying to know how this is supposed to work. Do I take it from here to here? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. So we're going to get a truck. And by that, we are going to do a simple trailer. Uh, because I've got a feeling this isn't going to work the way I want it to work. But this is going to be very odd. To set this up now the schedule at a stop there and there so it lets us set up two identical stops so let's go ahead and watch it and see how this works and if it works all right so it picked up and did nothing okay so that, let's go ahead and pause the game for just a moment. Okay, so it picked up and then it basically had nowhere else to go. So let's go ahead and delete that. And what I'm going to do, just to add a little bit to this, I'm going to go ahead and put a station over here somewhere. 
because this is a little bit, this is a very odd situation, essentially. So I'm going to try to put this, let's see, where's a good location? All right, this isn't bad. Let's just go ahead and put it down here. We'll put it right there, right at the edge of the street. And we'll have, uh, they'll go from north and then at a stop to right there. And we'll see how that goes. Again, not exactly sure since, because of the way all of this sort of worked out. But we'll see, because both of these are actually within range. I mean, it's kind of an odd thing. But let's see if he unloads at one and loads at another. Because if he does, as long as we're making money, it, as odd as it is, I will be perfectly fine with it. See if he picks up here. He does. And let's make sure that once again, he drops off here. Now, this gives us an opportunity to look at something else. It doesn't look like we're going to have to do it in this case. No, we, we don't. But on the schedule, everything so far has just been automatic. But we do have options down here. Uh, and I went over this in the first look video, but we have options to only load at a certain location, only unload, or only store. Now, store is what you would want to use uh, in the case of, let's say you had, let's say you had a train that was delivering goods into a station. Okay, but that station wasn't what we had been dealing with before, like over here, where our station was right next to either the plant or, you know, say the coal mine or whatever. Let's say you had a station that was just, you know, over here somewhere off to itself. You would want to choose to have it store there if you were going to have a truck come by, pick that up, and move it on to where it needed to go for its final destination. So that's when you would use store. Uh, it also comes into play a lot whenever you're using, uh, for me, I use it a lot with ships because I have the ships drop off, drop off to a port, and then I will put a, um, a train station nearby that port and have the train pick it up from there and move it on. So there's a lot of different combinations you can use for that. But that just gives you uh, a brief idea of some of the different options that you do have. All right, so now we've got things going over here. Again, our money, we're at 4.5 million, so money is going along great. Let's head back to our cities and let's see who else we've got. So we've got our number one city and I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce most of these. Okay, our number one and two cities are right next door to each other. So we're not gonna wanna do an airport between these two, but like I said, I would not mind doing an airport like right in this area, maybe in this area. Uh, that could be really good and then go into a different area from there. Let's see where we stand on our other city. So we're at 1,300 there, so it's way down here. Uh, there it is right there. It's showing at 1,408 actually. Okay, so a little discrepancy there. Nothing that I'm going to be really worried about. So that could be very profitable. And let's see. Uh, who do we want to go and have a look at? Let's go here. Let's jump to this one. Okay, now this is a good distance away. Okay, this would make for a good airport location. But of course, before we can do that, we need to work on our reputation because right now we don't have a relationship. They're growing very fast and this could be a great area for an airport like maybe right over in this area. It looks like a nice flat uh, terrain there. And let's see, just taking a quick look at what's in the area. I notice an oil refinery there. And okay, we have full energy here in the city. Okay, not bad at all. Let's go through our normal routine routine here. And let's see, where am I gonna put everything? I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Let's go ahead and put, let's see, did I pick, no, I picked bus stop. Why can we not put a bus stop down? There we go. Okay, so for some reason I couldn't put one over there. And we'll just work our way around and try to hit the outer areas as best I can. And 
and just try and can't put one there it must be there's something throwing it off okay that's not too bad again our main purpose in doing this aside from the obvious money-making benefit is to attempt let's go ahead and put this one right there right there on the corner looks good and then we'll get our bus it'll be nice whenever we can get uh, the next level up on the buses which will carry more passengers oops let's go to the depot and information schedule okay all right let's start with the first one I'm gonna to have to scroll in because I cannot remember everywhere I put these things it's two and somewhere over here is three there's four I do remember that one and five somewhere over here is six there we go seven and where did I put the one over here pretty sure I put one over there it's showing like I did oh there it is right there okay and then we've got one right there and I believe that's gonna be all of them okay that looks good to me and now we are going to once again let's go ahead and close that out let's copy and get three on the job so go ahead and start up that first one and he's gonna run right out there and get going and again he's not gonna have any passengers here at the very beginning okay let's get the second one going so these are all gonna make for some great locations for our airports as we get to that a little bit later on okay let's go ahead and get the third one started and now we're good to go so if we try to scroll back over somewhere over here we're gonna get to okay there's there we go so if we put an airport somewhere over in in this area then we would be able to get to here that would be a decent trip still not a very lengthy trip but plenty uh, of a trip that would allow us to make some very nice money okay so I'm really happy with where we are right now again the money is coming in very quickly let's see what kind of research we've got that we might want to do we've done uh, let's see we could do the engine upgrade but we're gonna be due for a new truck at some point uh, and then we'll have new potential upgrades for it let's see that's helicopter we don't need to worry about that we don't need to worry about that either let's see then you get the pumping device uh, let's go ahead and do that uh, unfortunately it doesn't show us what exactly we're working on which one of the uh, vehicles or ships or whatever until you click on it so now we know that the oil tanker is what we're actually working on in order to get a an accelerated pumping of 20 percent all right not bad not bad at all and now we scroll down just a little bit and we're back to our other area so what we've done if I bring up the map and for now I'll leave it right here in the center you can here on the map you can see everything that we've done all the roads and all of the uh, train tracks and as I scroll around you can see the cities will be sort of the black blobs and then there within the cities you can see those little dots that will be our uh, vehicles around on the map so I think right now we've got uh, three potentially uh, good airport locations again the two cities that are close by over let's see did I go by them yes I did they're right here I think this I'm considering this one airport and I think this is gonna have huge potential uh, for that and my plan is to take one airport here one airport over here at the city we just set up and then down here at our other location as well and have this be sort of a central hub area since it's going to be servicing 
two cities. But of course, that's going to be pretty expensive because we're going to have to purchase a lot of of these flight licenses. So it's four million here, and that's great, but we only have six million. So we're not quite at the point where we're ready uh, to do this type of thing just yet. But boy, am I ready to get to it. All right, just looking around at what else is in the area. Uh, we have a machine factory that we could open, but of course that's gonna take quite a bit of money and we are not ready for that yet. That's gonna be a little bit later in the game. Then we've got a water pump. Now I love these. They don't pay very much in my experience, but they can get water to the customers. And if we come in and look at the city interface, then we'll notice that water is one of the options that they're looking to fill, just like with the passengers, food, and so on. So I like this quite a bit, uh, but that's if we do that one, it'll have to wait until next time. For now, we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed uh, not only this video, but the series as a whole. So thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of Transports.